Welcome back to Every Way Woman. There are some major decisions that go into creating a talk show. And the two of you had the decision of the cast. How did you make that choice? It was easy. The women. Choice. Yeah, in some, in the some easiest ways, choice? it was really, really easy. Um, usually, Yolanda and I knew sometimes within the first 10 seconds. Yes. Uh, First impression is everything. First yes. impression is everything because we already knew what we wanted in the discussion leading up to okay the show. What, what is it that you host? wanted? We wanted women, that, uh, women on the panel that were not celebrities. We wanted women that other women can relate to because originally yes. it was real women, real stories, real issues. <laughs> A show for women, about women, and by, by women. women, which everybody is using <laughs> now. But exactly. you know what I think is so beautiful is that we are all real women, but every one of you is successful in their own Different. right, and I yeah. truly mm -hmm. find you inspiring. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I know the real stories, okay, <laughs> <laughs> and it's still you've you've all taught me and, so and much. And that's really what it's about: we, to inspire other women mm -hmm. and and, it, and to create a community for women where we could talk about real things. Yep, and you never know when you're casting. We did an open casting, uh, it was in um, Burbank mm -hmm. at a restaurant and we did a casting and here comes in Stacy Lewis. Oh, yeah. Miss Stacey. conservative, <laughs> turtleneck up to here in the sun. Uh, in the, look, it was, I think it was like March. Right, yes, and, it, and, and uh, dress all the way down, down, down here. Was she and, carrying her Bible? Yes, because I would not be surprised. I don't wear makeup. I haven't worn makeup in 20 years. Right, that yeah. was Stacy at the time. <laughs> and uh, how far she have come since then. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're going through the interview process and we, we're asking these questions. We realize she is the perfect mom that we're looking for. <laughs> and she, and then what we, because we wanted, women not to just be diverse culturally. Right, and we also wanted to have them lead diverse lives mm -hmm. as well. And um, I connected to Stacy right away. Um, I was in, um, going to be a mom soon, and she was a mother, working mom, two kids. She's a primary caregiver for her, her children and for her husband. Yeah, devoted wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was funny because Stacy is never afraid to tell you who she is, and I like that about her. And that's why I related her. to her, because yes. she comes in, she's like, you know what? I'm a conservative. And she and doesn't make she doesn't apologize for, for who she is nope. as well. And and there are several things that we looked for that all of you have, that all of the co-hosts co have. And one of them is that um, all of you move from here. All of our co-hosts move from here. Mm -hmm. And that was important for us. I remember when I first met Stacy, me and her like just I hold her dear to my heart because first off I met her at her home. We had a mm -hmm. rehearsal there. But um, she was so open about uh, you know, a certain topic that mm -hmm. was brought up, which was molestation. Yes. You know, and, uh, you know, not knowing, you know, that it had happened to me too, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe, maybe mm -hmm. knowing, but mm -hmm. nobody really shared it. It really worked as therapy. And, right, yeah. And I looked at her as my therapist and, and all yeah. you guys. It, 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 that's, that's the whole point of the show. I cannot cast, we cannot cast women that other women can't relate to. Right. The only way our show is going to be successful is that all the women actually are willing to open up and share and their stories. Yes. And care about, about other women yes. as mm -hmm. well. All of you have a quality where you care about other people. Mm -hmm. And that was really important to us, not just about yourself, but about your community, about getting yeah. out But ladies, to the don't get us wrong. We don't always get along. There no, we don't always get along. Yeah, yeah. 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 So women, of course, we're women. Have opinions and, yes. you know. And, but uh, going back to Jeslyn, let's talk mm -hmm. about Jeslyn. She is the most oh, humble boy. person I have ever met. Yeah, and she's are. the most giving and what? sometimes too giving, you know, and, and very to a humble. Fault. I'll admit that. I, but, I give to a fault. And you know, those things about Jeslyn, I love. She's really funny and she is very giving. But I remember the first time I saw her on camera, and I remember the guys coming out and saying, do not let her get away. And I was like, I don't plan on <laughs> to. Right, yeah. So that, that was really great. And just to know that. She, she's there because we've had a lot of great women come and go, which is great. Yes. A lot of women have grown the show. We've had every uh, ethnic background. Right. And we but, have great speakers and we have great guests. Every way woman has evolved yes. for years. But we struggle in one category. We could not find the Latina that we needed. And it was, it, it was so funny because <laughs> we're in Los Angeles. I'm like, oh my God, why can't I find this woman? <laughs> right. So one day I'm opening my email and I go, I know Gina, Gina, she's uh, she you, has, Gina. Gina has sent me. She said, "I got this woman for you. Her name is Anna." I said, "Okay." Blah, blah, blah. And I, I had other stuff going, so I really wasn't paying attention. So this email comes, and this big picture comes up of this Latina. And I said, "I emailed her back. I said, are you auditioning for the show?" I forgot why she was coming on the show, and she was so perfect. And I remember when she came in for the audition, and I was like. I'm just going to tell you what I'm to so say. Right. I'm going to tell you what to do because you already got the part. <laughs> right. And but what we what we really love about Anna is that um, you don't represent a stereotype. 
Exactly. And that's kind of what, what was a little frustrating for Yolanda and I is getting away from the stereotype. We aren't stereotypes. You know, we, all, all of you, you're not stereotypes. And I, I can relate to Anna because she's this Latino woman. She has her own business mm -hmm. and you don't have any kids. And that is breaking so many rules. Yes. You're yeah, breaking the Latino community. Yeah. You're, mm -hmm. why not Absolutely. You <laughs> You're breaking all the rules, but that was perfect for us. She's a trailblazer. She is yeah, a trailblazer. And she's inspiring, and we're looking for love that's together. Why, yes. <laughs> yes. That's why we have our different women, different opinions, and we always have great, great conversations. Conversation. That's right. That's so. right. Thank you, the two of you, Thank for including you. us Thank in you. the show. More Every Way Woman when we return. Coming up next, more Everyway Woman.